All right, so today what I want to do is I want to go over this Moondev AI agents mostly for trading, but I'm doing all types of things as you as you know. It's going to be mostly trading as that's what I focus most of my time on, but I threw a couple agents in here that are not for trading. Anyways, this is all open source GitHub. I thought it'd be a cool experiment to have at least one project here that's totally open source and anybody can pull from it, build on it, and we should be able to come up with some interesting ideas here. Um, as a team as everybody has access to it. So what I want to do here is give you a walkthrough of the github um, You have the link already. It should be down below if not anyways As you can see it's growing pretty fast You can go ahead and hit star in order to save it and fork in order to keep it But essentially you can go ahead and read the readme to see the vision here but essentially, AI agents are clearly the future and the entire workforce will be replaced or at least be using AI agents. Is that going to be this year? Probably not. Next year, maybe. Over the next five years? I think absolutely. So I just wanted to get this out in the public and then walk you through how to use this. There are two short um, document uh, documentation videos I created here, but ideally this will be the third one to really show you the things that I've been building this week as each week they will get updated. So you see we have a bunch of live agents and this week we actually updated the trading agent. So now there's a swarm model. So not a model, but a swarm agent that we built. If we scroll down here, you know, we have a bunch of agents. You can read through them, the strategy agent, the trading agent, the risk agent, the copy agent, the whale agent. A lot of you have been here while I was building some of these on stream as well. But one of the big updates we made was the swarm agent that queries a bunch of different AIs. And I think this is a very interesting idea. It queries like five, six different AIs like Claude, Gemini, Grok, DeepSeek. And then it asks them a question. So imagine five questions, five different companies get their answers. And then it comes back and it comes back with a consensus AI. So it then gives all of the answers from the five different AIs to the consensus AI and says, hey, what's the consensus here? So you can see all of these agents you already have access to. I trust that you can put this into Codex or Claude code and understand everything yourself. But I want to go over the three that I added here this week. The DCA, I call it the Housecoin agent because that's my DCA, but it's a DCA, a dollar cost average agent that essentially is going to buy if the agent says okay on top of a strategy that's already implemented in there so i think it's important if you're going to use agents that there's some sort of strategy and then you can have like an override almost what i'm really excited about this week is this swarm agent i think this was the biggest jump so i'll show you how to access it you can see it queries six ai models in parallel and then it has an ai consensus agent as well that will help kind of consolidate all of the answers. And then also I made a poly market agent. This poly market agent essentially connects to all of the live trades on poly market and constantly watches all of the live trades. And then it actually uses the swarm agent in order to get a swarm consensus on what trades maybe are interesting to take a look at. I would say this is in beta, but again, the swarm agent is one of the biggest jumps I've made this week. And I always want to show you at the end of the week, the biggest jumps. That being said, don't sleep on any of these because these are all very interesting as well. So, you know, you can read the read me on your own time. That being said, I want to give you a walkthrough of how some of this read me works. So just read all the way through and you'll understand everything. But the key part here where all the code is, is in the SRC folder. So in the SRC folder, if I go to agents, this is where all the agents I will continue to build will be placed. The one I wanted to show you today specifically was the swarm agent. Since everybody has access to this code, don't worry about taking screenshots or anything. I just want to show you around. You can see the swarm agent. It will explain everything here at the top, but then you can see here, we have all of these different models. Most of them are API models that you call, but you can see I also implemented Olama. So you can run these 
locally as well, because a lot of people are worried about the AI costs, etc. Well, now you have local models. So you can see all the code here, how it works with the Swarm agent. And essentially, I can ask them anything. And I could probably pull this up too. Let me see if I can pull up the code cursor here. Um, where are my AI agents? Here we go. Let's go to the swarm agent so you can see an example of it. I think it's really, really cool to be able to ask the swarm agent anything. And it will go ahead and it will go ahead and um, ask all of the different agents. So you can see if I run it here, it will allow me to run it independently but really i built it so i can import it into all of my other agents for example a trading agent maybe you have a strategy that works and then you want to ask hey should i actually enter this position to six different um ais does that work i don't know but this is a new frontier and anything new that i build i want to show you immediately so what would you like to ask the ai swarm um what is the best breakfast for me to have as an entrepreneur to have the most energy throughout the day or it could be, hey, here's data for the last 15 bars. Should I go long or short? You can see right now I have it marked off. So we're not using the Olama. But in order to use the local model, you just unmark that Olama. I also added some new models this week. And I'll go over those as well and where to find them. And if you know the structure of this, then you'll be able to build anything, really, because I have all the code built. It's really about understanding the structure. So you can see here that it's asking all four of the models in parallel. So we're using parallel processing. That's another huge thing that I built here this week. And I would like to show you that as well. Because the thought of using parallel processing for AI, it just speeds things up so, so much. So I'll show you that here in a second. But you can see it got all responses from the four models here. And now it's sending it to a consensus model. And then it says, okay, here's the AI consensus. But I think it's important to be able to see the deep seek response, the open AI response, all of these other responses independently and the consensus response. Because if you imagine pulling this this swarm agent into other programs or agents that you're building well then you'll have the answers for all of the ais independently but also the consensus so all four responses unanimously agree that best entrepreneurial breakfast combines high protein healthy fats complex carbohydrates so you kind of see how it works right now on to the topic of um, parallel processing one thing i did here with the rbi agent is I set up parallel processing. So if you remember the RBI agent, remember the process I follow to automate my training is research, backtest, implement, research, backtest, implement. A while back, we built this RBI agent here that you can run and it will go ahead and take any ideas off the list that we have, ideas.txt here, and it will go ahead and backtest those. Now, a huge jump I made this week is this parallel processing because now it can backtest five or multiple at the same time. I think I set it to five, but you can change it to however many you want. Yeah, parallel threads is five here. But if you go here, um, you can add any ideas. It's in the data folder. So let me close some of these. Data, RBI pp for pillow processing i can put any ideas in here and let me just go ahead and kind of cheat a little bit because it's already done all those so let me just put some so you can see it so parallel processing for the research backtest implement agent it's researching and backtesting really it's pretty cool because now it's saying multiple threads you can see i'm using grok for fast reasoning this is another huge update i made this week now that i start speaking through things i was really stepping on the gas this week with the ai agents we implemented grok 4 here we implemented um queen from alibaba i implemented it through olama and through grok with a q but you can see now this goes ahead and creates a folder and it starts to first off research the idea. So whatever idea I put here, it went ahead and made a better like written out idea because the next step here is it's going to backtest the ideas. So this backtest folder should start getting 
um, filled up with new back tests. But I think this is very cool because before it used to do one idea at a time. You know, it would research it, make the strategy, and then it would go ahead and back test. And then it would try to debug it. And then it would move on to the next one. But now it does them all at the same time. Or at least I have five at five threads. You can probably do more, but you can see the back test is being outputted here. Now it will start debugging the back test and so on and so on. So this was a huge, huge jump for the RBI agent. And that is available inside of the GitHub under agents here. Again, let's go from the fresh page here so you can really understand this. It's going to take some time. I know this is the GitHub that I set up, so I understand it, but I want to keep showing you how to get there. You go to the main page, read the readme, and then go to the SRC agents here. You can see I just showed you the swarm agent down here. This is the one that I showed you prior that calls all the other agents and that makes a consensus agent. And then the new parallel processing for the RBI agent, which is so, so cool is right here in the RBI agent PP. Okay, some other things that I added this week that are big movers, as I mentioned before, the models here. Before we didn't have XAI, so we didn't have the Grok models, and now we do. So now you can easily import any XAI or Grok model into your workflows, which is pretty sick. It's pretty inexpensive as well. You can see the pricing here. Okay, but there's also another model that I added and it was Queen from Alibaba. So I don't know if you've seen that flowing around, but Queen looks like it's a good trader or a decent trader compared to the others at least. I wasn't able to figure out the direct connection to Queen through their APIs. It's actually really, really poorly set up, but there's two alternatives for that. I can run them locally with Olama. So you can see I implemented Queen 8B here with Olama. So Olama allows you to run any model, not any model, but any open source model locally. So there, boom, queen, you have queen access. But also Grok with the Q lets you run a bunch of different models through an API. And you can see I have a ton here, but now we have queen 32B here. So you have 8B and 32B installed into the GitHub. So we really built a lot of great things here this week. And I just wanted to give you this full overview so every single week you can see what we're updating. As I'm spending four to six hours a day um, finding the best thing that can be most impactful for you at the end of the week. And then I'm trying to show you at the end of the week. So same thing. All right, let's go ahead and just do one last walkthrough here. Now that you have the link to the GitHub, you can go ahead and read the readme. What I do every time I make a new agent, I add it to this list here. So you'll be able to keep your eye on this and come back and be like, oh, wow, he made a polymarket agent. I didn't show you that here today, but it's in the same place. Let's go to the SRC. SRC here. And if we go to agents here, you can see, again, the polymarket agent. This one is looking at all of the recent all of the recent trades and it's taking it's getting any of the crypto or sports stuff out of there my thesis with sports stuff is there's a lot of emotional traders that are essentially just betting their team so i don't really care about that and i have so much exposure to to crypto with algorithms that i also remove those you can change that if you'd like but essentially this agent will go ahead and it will stock to see what new um, what new trades are being made on poly market. And then it will kind of give a hint of, oh, maybe this is a good one to trade. I didn't implement the just auto buy yet. I want to keep looking at the data first for a bit. But again, under SRC, just like I showed you, you can go down here to poly market. Where is it right here? And then it just runs. It uses the poly market API, which is nice. It's going ahead and it's looking at the last ones we have and then asking all of the other agents in parallel. So you see here, I used the swarm agent. I imported it into this new agent. And then you can see at the same time, it's tracking all of the new markets that people are trading with any sort of size on. So you can see 440, 384. I think I have it set up to be $100 right now. So this stuff is moving very, very quickly. Uh, you can see there's a lot of interest in traded on poly market i think it's a very fascinating market as theoretically 
doesn't matter if we're in a bull market, a bear market, a sideways market, there should always be some sort of edge on poly market because it's a smaller market and there's so many different opportunities. Like any question you ask could be a poly market market. So I think that's pretty interesting, but anything I do find that can be applied to an AI agent, I'll go ahead and put it here in this open source GitHub. Um, all the trading bot, bot stuff still still is closed source. I don't really plan on making that open source um, as you know, we all need to kind of make our own strategies and stuff but I thought you would really enjoy a nice overview here. And now you know absolutely everything you need to know in order to get started with this GitHub and AI agents. There's 20 plus in there and that swarm that I built, I'm so, so excited about. So maybe I'll put this as the third full walkthrough video, but go ahead and watch video number one and number two if you have any confusion on this thus far. I can't wait to see what you build.